University of Stellenbosch are using technology to save a critically endangered plant from extinction. The paintbrush lily found uh, in a found in the famous section known as the Rhinostaffeld is one of the smallest of this lily group. Now urbanization is diminishing its habitat, a similar fate for an increasing number of plant species in the region. Human development has been the cause of major destruction in nature. Ironically, it's this very development that could also be its saving grace. Such is the case of the paintbrush lily. Where they once thrived here in Stellenbosch, among others, it's estimated that less than 200 plants still exist in nature. This group of scientists has embarked on a mission to save the species. Using science and technology, we can reverse the process of what's happened already and, and um, hopefully introduce more plants back into this environment and other environments where, where it occurred before. So, for example, there's a development around one of the schools nearby that we would like to, to introduce the plants into a wetland uh, rehabilitation program. So, ideally, we would like to save this population, get it to be self-sustaining. Taking nature into the concrete jungle structures of the university, they are using existing basic techniques to develop a new method of plant multiplication, a process similar to cloning. Because it's so endangered, we don't want to destroy any of them, so we're hoping to, we can just use the leaves. And then from each little piece of the leaf, we're hoping we can make at least one or maybe two little bulblets by treating it with the right hormones, uh, the right conditions and then from that we can take those plants and then divide those again and make more so micropropagation has the potential to make millions of plants from just one small sample and the next generation of scientists are already on board I think a lot of people go into medicine and um, that's the normal route but BSC has a lot to offer so genetics has always been an interesting one for me actually determining what's going on inside our bodies on a molecular level If successful, specimens will be sent to botanical gardens around the world for safekeeping. And saving even the smallest paintbrush lily could one day prove to be the saving grace of the great balance of all life on earth. Maris Kabota, SABC News, Stellenbosch.